We are now leaving England. Training has finished. We are about to pass the oldest and most southern lighthouse in England. We're stopping in Belfast for one night and then we're heading all the way to Scotland. To Bonnie Belfast. I'm not singing to the camera unless you pay me commission. La la la, hey Jude. Lovely. We have arrived in Belfast and the time is 6.30 p.m. and we arrived one hour ago and tomorrow morning we are leaving at 5 a.m. and we are just about to go into town to have my very first Irish Guinness. George, Miriam, Laura, Don, this one's for you. What you're about to witness is the ever-evolving sibling relationship between Lon and Mark. I'm fishy in the water. It's just like exactly the same what? when you've had a shower. You have a hot shower and then you're like, oh, I'm under the weather. It's so slow. <laughs> I can't move. Everything is so much Oh, better. I think I think I just I'm just I'm a bit achy, you know, I'm worn down I'm worn oh, down a little bit. <laughs> Next minute I got COVID and I make you all get COVID. No, right, we're good. not bringing the C word into this conversation. <laughs> Every time you have a hot shower, it's like... No way! It is! It's not! You always smell exactly... You've been in the hot shower for like 45 minutes. <laughs> it makes me feel good. Yeah, yeah, clearly, good. yeah, clearly. But it drains all of the living energy out of you. And then when you um, emerge from it, you're like... Oh, oh the air is so harsh on my skin. Everything is... I'm just run down. <laughs> Here we're moments away from walking into our very first Irish pub. Old castle like yeah, building. Guinness, baby. <laughs> So that was my uneventful sip of Guinness for the very first time. Unfortunately, Jeff stopped recording. From this moment, we had dinner, had a few beers, headed back to the boat, and then that very next morning, sailed straight to Scotland. In Scotland, we actually had an unexpected falling out with our trainer. He left the boat along with a couple of others, which led to our very first maiden voyage. It was very exciting times. As you can probably tell, dot dot dot. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Oh, there we go, a little bit of life. It's not just me talking. <laughs> uh, after five years of dreaming, two years of planning, two long years of planning, after Mark doing two years of study through various courses, after six weeks of intense training, all whilst these two talk behind my back constantly, we are doing our maiden voyage together, leaving Oban, and it is a special day, and that is my blog entry. Really? No, no Will Smith quotes then, Kane? Uh, Will Smith would say, Mark's a tosser. <laughs> Did you say that this is our maiden voyage? I just read the Will Smith book. This is our maiden voyage. Do you, guys, right. do you guys have anything you want to say? Give us the camera, so it was. Sure, the camera. For Sonia. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, bye. We stayed in Oban for about four or five weeks doing boat jobs and just learning what we needed to learn until we felt confident to sail away. So calm and sunny day in Oban today, folks. I have to put the camera down to do the fenders. Lonnie right doing all the fenders? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
So there's a castle up here that we have been living near for a few weeks now because we've been in Oban for a while and I want to show you the castle. Isn't it cool? After years of thinking about it, this was the very first morning that we sailed together as friends on our own boat. It was incredibly special and it finally felt like our space. Now it feels real. Lan, were you just saying that it feels real? Yeah, now it feels real. Were you just saying that it feels real? No, I wasn't talking to myself up the front of the boat. <laughs> It must be a cup of tea time. Tony. Tea! Tea! <laughs> That's traumatizing as well. Just those words. Must be. Must be a cup of tea time. <laughs> Not. What's going on guys? Talk to me. Someone else do a vlog already. Lonnie, what's happening? Well, we're on our maiden voyage. Yes. Uh, Tell them, Lon. Bit of enthusiasm. Whether to go for a swim or not, but Mark has just pointed out that the algae is going really fast and we probably can't swim that fast. Kane's mum's calling, calling us again. Let's hear if you a concert because she's absolutely I'm, frothing. I'm trying to vlog and my mother's calling me because she's at an Xavier Rudd concert. <laughs> So, I need to do a little video on what it looks like with the sails out because it's the perfect day to do it because it's almost dead still and you can see the size and beauty of this sail. Have a look at it. See that big head sail? It's ginormous. And then, that's our main sail. really nice to be here whilst very rarely there's no wind you wouldn't we wouldn't really do this but it's like a training day so this is what it looks like guys cool huh do a little super quick tour I'll have to do a video an entire video on the boat tour but now that it's just me Mon and Mark I'm able to freely walk around with the Camarara and I Mark Get changed. Doing a very quick boat tour without narrating. This is our lounge room slash galley slash saloon. Captain's cabin, nav station, nav desk, main cabin, which we'll go through properly later. Beautiful, beautiful. Saloon. So we're in Scotland and it's cold and we're by ourselves now and we're thinking about our journey all the way to the Med. Where Kane is now that'll all be cushions. Yeah. Oh, we'll be eating cushions. olives. Oh. And above Kane will be a hammock. And then we'll be going, can you remember where cold? And then we'll be like, so much sun, too much sun. Yeah. Gotta get the sun. I'll be like, can we please put the aircon on? <laughs> Dreamy. Well, now we've got to get done. Do Might be the day for the first splash. I feel like it's a good day for the first it's gonna swim in Scotland. in Scotland. It's got to happen here. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm in. You're going to swim? You have to. I'll swim. You're going to jump in? I think it would be illegal to not jump I'll in. I'll do it. Yeah. Fucking cold. <laughs> I know it's going to be cold, but... It will signify the fresh new start. What I'm going to do though before we do that is make sure the hot water. Lonnie, it'll cleanse us of all the negativity, mm. won't it? Mm. Are you splooging in the sunshine? Mm. Hey boy. Awa. You want to find some other shots and take them back? Yeah. yeah. Uh. Come on, Lon. Captain us to the next spot. 
so we've arrived um, and we are anchored. We're anchored. I'm cooking a yummy Sandro tomato pesto pasta. Lon, for the first time in seven weeks, is lying in the sunshine. We haven't had this warmth of, warmth of sun for nearly two months because we've been in Scotland. And Mark is setting up a good space to have lunch. Check it out. And I just wanted to say that I feel really, really happy. This is our maiden voyage and today feels like our sailing trip that we've been dreaming of for five years has actually properly begun. So it's a special moment for me. A lot has tried to stop us from coming here and we're here and it's amazing. I am truly and utterly grateful for every single second. For our very first swim since being overseas, it's fucking freezing, excuse the language. It's fucking freezing. <laughs> this is our first day of like heat whereby it's possible to consider jumping in the water. I grew up on the Great Barrier Reef, long grew up with no water in Wagga Wagga in the middle of nowhere with a big lake, but not the same. And we're going for a swim. Wish us luck. YouTube forever. <laughs> yeah, I get a lifetime ban for like. Now. We need to get some nipple tassels, but she doesn't have to run. Just a big nipple burger. Lonnie, have you got your towel ready, darling? <laughs> Snooki, have you got your towel ready? Because it's going to be cold and you want your towel, darling. Go on, go organize your towel. <laughs> wow, look how good it looks without all the stuff there. Look at this day. Oh, we, I'm having a video. All right. Long, Quick one. Hey, yeah, one more time. All right. Come over here and take the photo, Schnuckelbutt. Oh my God. What would this temperature be? Ready? Five? Daddy? Mark! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I just get out of here. Wait a minute, Nowing. Okay, Lon, Lon, put it down. Now I'm gonna do a little vlogging intro. You gonna jump from there? Yeah, I'm gonna jump from there. You gonna jump from there? Lon's gonna jump from there. No, Lon, too close. That's all right. All right. Oh, I don't know if I'm last, ready for last this. Last thoughts. Hat off. Last thoughts. I Soon we won't have to suffer like this. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you have no fucking idea how cold this is. It's fucking ice. Okay. Are we gonna just do five, four, three, two, one, and then jump? Or what's the deal? Let's do three, two, one, jump. Is that a jellyfish? Or we jump on jump. Ah! We jump on jump, and who's counting? Three, two, one, jump. Go! Go! <laughs> As soon as you're in, hey, it was just like. No, I had a bit of a delay. I had a delay. I was like, oh, this is fine. Oh my god! Oh fuck! Felt good though. I might even try and try and do it again. You want to do it again? I think you'll get used to it. Come on, come on, Mark. Come on, big jump. Come on. Ready, snuggle butt. Come on, you. Again? Yeah, yeah. again. <laughs> I can't wait from that. It's not any warmer. Oh. oh, it stings. Glory. Wim Hof would be so disappointed. 
But if you go, if you, yeah. if you go in that for like two minutes, your body goes numb and then you're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, that was perfect. Oh, feels so good now, though. Yeah. Oh. Wakey, wakey. Oh. Oh. As soon as I jumped, I knew exactly what was coming from me, and I was just like, I was just like going into the water, like. <laughs> <Just like. laughs> I feel better now already. So we had our lunch and then we all went for the ice swim and then we literally passed out for I think at least an hour or an hour and a half and then we splooged in the sunshine all afternoon. And now Lonnie's just cleaning up a little bit. The first bit of Scottish sun. The first bit of Scottish sun just made us get no no all afternoon. And the tide has come back. It's gone out and it's coming back in. Now it's time to head home. The wind's picked up a little bit. And we're heading back over here. Back to Oban. Uh, back to the marina. And that is our first little, very, very little but much needed maiden voyage together on Ocean Pearl. Yeah, have you had a good day, darling? Yes! Mark, have you had a good day, darling? The best day. The best day! Look at that gloriousness. This is the kind of banter Lon, Mark and I throw around when we're learning to hoist a sail on a luxury Oyster 56. Virginia, well, you direct us going up, yeah? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, no, sorry, Lauren, you're doing it. Yeah. yeah. So, Ma, yeah. can you um, stand on one foot? Yeah. Turn your head to the right. Yeah. Tilted, not turn, tilted. Drool a little bit at the left hand side. With my head tilted to the right. Yeah. That's quite hard to do. I know. Dribble a vertical. Upward. Okay. Attempting. And put your right hand over your head. Not on, over. Over. Yeah. Make a, a like a grizzly bear noise. <laughs> 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 that funny was it, Lon? Yeah, Anything I can do with a sailing boat? A sailing boat. Well, <laughs> not your stood on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lon, come on, honey bun. Not yet. Why not? I can't do it now. You because can't. we haven't finished fluffing up. You've got to prepare. <sighs> I would have said then, Lonnie, keep the boat into the wind. There we are. Okay. Just remain calm. You remain calm. Lovely. Alright, you got these open, Snug? Yeah. Three. Last one, Lon. Yeah. Great. Keep us into the wind. So, do one more thing. Yes. So you did the van, you did yes. the main sheet, what's next? Um, and we got it pull on the top of it. So you have to do that the And yeah. the lazy jack. Did you, 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 pull, you got it off the cleat, yes? Yeah? That's good enough, Lon. We've got to film one where we're in like full on pro mode. Like yeah, yeah. all prepped, fast as possible. Like, all got GoPros done. on, I'll skip between all the different GoPros. That'd be cool. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I think we're getting pretty bloody good at this. Very slowly, but. No, we could. Not slowly, actually. I think we've done a pretty good job with the time we've had. Get into it, Snug. Keep an eye on it. I am, I'm keeping an eye on it. Will it go the other way, Lonnie? There we go. Come on, Lonnie. Come on, Lonnie. Gone the other way. 
Here we're using the manual winch so that we can learn the basics as we go. We didn't want to go straight into using electric winches until we were comfortable and confident using all manual aspects of hoisting the mainsail. Also, you might notice that Lon's using the winch the harder way. That's because she has more strength than two men put together. She has a long family history of Dutch barge pushes. We found that out recently through a family tree thing. <laughs> How far? Two meters. That's one okay, big okay. <laughs> Yeah. Where your eyes going to be? Up. Yeah. Alright. Just go real steady. Lon and I are absolute beginners in this video. Here we're dealing with a brand new sail. For those that do sail, you know how expensive sails are. We were taking every precaution necessary and were always a little bit nervous when hoisting the sail. One tiny mistake or one little lack of concentration and it's literally thousands of dollars of damage. Tap. Tap. Okay, hold there. I'm just gonna winch it. Salt long. That crease in the sail yeah, is called it's called it's caused by the boom. Okay. So if I bring the boom down now, I reckon that'll start to uh, just to be fair, just make sure the reefing lines are all free. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now you can uh, put slack on the... Yeah. Bringing the boom down. Only how is that? Snug, talk me through what you just did, real quick. First bit of exercise in about two weeks, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> that is how you hoist our main sail. It's pretty good learning on a giant, giant sail on a 60 foot ship, isn't it? For a first sailing experience, Lonnie. Yeah. <laughs> this time. for now. Not sure what the next episode is, but it'll be um, a little bit more adventurous. Bye!